Ingenuity. Cool TV proudly presents Kentucky Christian University Baseball as the Cool Hit Sports Network brings you live coverage from Grayson, Kentucky. Now let's head to the field and the pregame show and Kentucky Christian University Baseball right here on Cool TV. And a pleasant good afternoon from Grayson, Kentucky, heart of the parks, as we bring you in for Kentucky Christian Baseball. The Knights back home for a three-game series this weekend as they've got the Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs coming in, currently ranked number 22 in the country in NAIA. Good evening, or good afternoon, I should say, everyone. James Collier, Ben James, happy to have you along with us here. Ben, you uh, you look at the matchup today, a team that they hit the ball very well. They've won five of their last contest, ranked as high as sixth early in the year. This is a big conference matchup for this KCU team that they're 11-10 and 10 on the season, but they've only managed to get one conference win. Yeah, I think this comes down to uh, it's just fundamental baseball at this point. Playing somebody with the talent that this Wesleyan team has, it's fundamental pitching, fielding, putting the ball in play, and just playing a, a good sound game of baseball. And the other side of it is throwing strikes. That's I think it. that's a big key. That's one of the big bugaboos for this team this year is finding that strike zone with some of the, uh, some of the pitchers. But uh, this one should be a dandy. Breezy conditions blowing out. Uh, that's not a pitcher's dream by any means, but uh, if you're lefty today, you're getting everything you can get on every crack of the bat. We'll take a break. We come back. We'll meet our starting lineups. Set the scene and get you ready for first pitch. Game that was scheduled for tomorrow, rain pending, so they moved it over to today. They'll play the next two on Saturday in a doubleheader. We'll tell you all about it as we continue our coverage on the pregame show on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities Builders builders inc.com 
When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs, whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event. a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, we are the home office. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. Back here in Grayson as we're getting ready for KCU and TWU in the first of three games here in this weekend series. Scheduled for tomorrow. We're playing tomorrow's game today due to weather tomorrow. They're giving thunderstorms. Then they'll be back here on Saturday scheduled for a 12 and 2 o'clock, two seven-inning twin bills on uh, Saturday. Spencer Hutchinson will be back with you on that one. Looking at the visitors on the scoreboard, the Bulldogs 14-9 on the season. They're 7-5 and five in conference play. Last year, they were 43-11 and 11 on the regular season, 29-1 and 1 in the AAC. Uh, they're, uh, they're pretty solid across the top of the board. Today, the Knights, 11-10, and 10, picked up a, a midweek win on Tuesday over Alice Lloyd, 11-4. That uh, took care of a three-game losing streak in which they had fell to U-Pike in the last conference series they had, losing 10-4, 6-5, and 13 to 6. This Bulldogs team come in comes in, excuse me, winners of five consecutive last year in the conference when they met up down in Tennessee. They swept that series winning 8-2, 9-2 and 5-4. Last time out for the Bulldogs, they defeated Indiana Tech 12 to 4. They played a two-game series in that one and Christian Delashment threw three innings of work, got a 2-2 uh, two and two record now. He uh, faced 12 batters, struck out four of those, gave up one walk. So Knights being introduced and taking the field. We'll take our final break for the National Anthem. When we come back, we'll meet our starting lineups and get you ready for first pitch. It's KCU and TW after this on Cool TV. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Fall hunting season is here. Border Sporting Goods has your best selection of Hoyt and Matthews bows as well as 10-point crossbows with a full selection of accessories for all your hunting needs. Borders also offers a full selection of shotguns and rifles with plenty of ammunition and reloading supplies, along with a wide selection of benchmark and case knives. Borders is your headquarters for the largest selection of Liberty gun safes in the area, no matter how big or small you need to keep your firearms safe. Before your next hunting excursion, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. 
When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Back in Grayson as we get you set for the Bulldogs and the Knights. Take a look at the starting lineup for the visitors on the scoreboard. As it'll look like this. Leading things off and playing center field is Braxton Turner batting second and playing third base Blake Hubble. Batting third at shortstop is Marco Martinez. The left fielder Jack Stevens will be the cleanup hitter. Batting fifth at second base is Cale Webster. Batting sixth and catching Evan McGill. Batting seventh and playing first base Corbin Shaw. Batting eighth in right field is Cruz Newman. And batting ninth as a designated hitter is Carson Ford. Turnal Hubble, Hubble Martinez, Stevens, Webster, McGill, Shaw, Newman, and Ford. That's the lineup for the visiting Bulldogs. Pitcher on the mound today. Jeff, I think you, you went off of their roster. He's wearing number four. He's number, usually number 44. So we've got Sam Gold. On the rubber today, Guevara, Otterberg, Leg. that's left to right. Third to first, Rivera, Garcia, Markwell, and Holb. Bevin behind the dish, and the right-hander, Sam Gold, on the bump. So leading things off is Braxton Turner. Batting 406 on the season, 39 hits, 25 driven in, 5 doubles, 12 home runs. First pitch is rocketed right back up the middle. And into center field for a base hit. Good start for the Bulldogs. As we are off and running. First pitch, 3 o'clock on the nose. 77 degrees, cloudy skies. Winds 10 to 20 miles an hour out of the south-southwest. Blowing kind of out toward the scoreboard out in right center. So that brings in the third baseman of Blake Hubble. Hubble crowding that inside part of the plate. First pitch misses down and away for a ball. Ben, you uh, you look at the way you start things off. First pitch and just rocket one right back up the middle. Good start for the Bulldogs. Absolutely. You know, their offensive numbers show you this year that they're probably um, everything, including aggressive. Good aggressive swing there on the 1-0 count. Evens things at 1-1. One one. Almost has the toes on the inner half of that white line. This one's a flare over into left field, and it's going to fall in there for a single. And then it gets past the left fielder, Guevara, and that'll move the runner up to third. So back-to-back -back singles for the Bulldogs. Move the runners up 90 feet on the error, and they've got something cooking here in the first. That's the things the Knights are not going to be able to afford to do today for sure. So it brings in the shortstop, Marco Martinez. Martinez batting 349 on the season, 29 hits, 31 driven in. Goes with a fastball to the outside corner for a called strike. But when you look at it in a situation you're in, you, you pitched. You and I, we played a lot of baseball oh, together. Yeah. How important is it when you're in this situation right here to find that strike zone early? Yeah, you can't be working from behind consistently, that's for sure. Get ahead, work from there. There's a rocket down the third base line. That one's into the corner, and that's going to bring in both runs. Martinez on his horse. He's motoring out to second, and it's going to be a two, a two RBI double. And the Bulldogs dent the scoreboard early. It's 2 nothing. And it goes back to the old situation of 
the error comes around to haunt you and in, in the worst situation there of a, of a ball just getting absolutely roped down that line on the third base side. So now Jack Stevens climbs in. 3-2 hitter is the left fielder. Run around at second base. Still nobody out. Good look in there from our center field cameras. Bevan goes through the signs with his battery mate and First pitch is laced foul and out of play. The first thing I've noticed, Ben, with this crew coming in, they are swinging on the first pitch. Yeah, they're not they're not afraid to take some hacks at the plate, that's for sure. Averaging 330 as a team on the season. They've slugged 49 home runs as a team. Nice two-seam fastball to the outside corner and gets it to 0-2. When you bring it in, your, your leadoff batter's got 12 home runs on the season. That's a good start. You almost look at that stat, and you're like, is this a misprint? But it uh, certainly makes you, as a pitcher, you got to fine-tune what you're going to do. There's a ball roped over top of the third base side, but foul. You talked about the importance in pregame of KCU throwing strikes 100%, but you also have to be careful what kind of strikes you're throwing. Can't throw BP strikes. Yeah, it's got to be pitching, not just throwing. And this is a good place you can waste a pitch here, and I think this is something you want to try to expand the zone and see if you can get Stevens to expand. The ball's two strikes, two... Uh, Across and goes with a curveball downstairs. Good block. Bevan is a phenomenal catcher. I've, uh, I've got to see him a couple times this year, and I mean, there are very few things going to get past him. The game I had him here when they played, I forget the series it was. It's been so many games here recently, but he probably needed an ice bath when he got done. I mean, it was off his chest so many times that day, but just a, a wall behind the plate. There's a slow roller over toward the third baseman. Rivera picks and throws one away. Now, Ben, go into your uh, your psyche now as a pitcher. You've given up two, but you get a ground ball to the infield that doesn't allow that base runner to move. How much does that settle you down? It, uh, getting that out, seeing your defense be back behind you with the ball in play, it uh, does, does big things for the pitcher's confidence. Here's the senior, Cal Webster. Out of Long Grove, Iowa, big left-handed swinging second baseman. 259 hitter on the season, four home runs. He's driven in 20. Nice off-speed pitch. It breaks to the outside corner with a changeup for a call strike. Changeup first pitch, and sometimes that kind of finds your release point when you're struggling to get that fastball. Absolutely. Leo one. Goes back to the changeup that misses down and away. We need a K zone in here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good-looking pitch for sure. I think I've been looking up top. I think I want to look on the screen here so I can see a little better angle. We got all these all these TV screens around here, man. It almost makes you cheat a little bit. Take a look at the runner at second base to the plate he comes, and this one's flared foul and over to the football field. It's one and two. And you give up two quick ones. You get a bat, get a ground ball, find a way to get this batter out, get out of the inning with only two. After giving up two leadoff hits, that's got to make you feel a little better. Yeah. Catcher McGill in the on-deck circle will go next. Bevan flashes the signs, has the one he likes. Gold comes to the plate, and it's fouled away. First time with us here on Cool TV. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you see something you like. Hit that little bell, and each time we put out new material, you'll uh, you'll get an update there that we've got some stuff out there for you. We'll be back with you on Saturday for the twin bill here. Scheduled for 12 and 2. That'll wrap up the conference slate in this meeting between the Bulldogs and the Knights. Two and two of the second baseman. Long Grove, Iowa. That's a long ways from home. How do you get from Iowa to Tennessee? Martinez out at second. Two RBI double. That one got away from him and it's full. Again, when you've got first base open here, Ben, is this something you 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 know you've got a guy up there that's got some power? You're trying to be – you notice everything's been away, been away, been away. Just kind of flirting with trying to get him to expand. You're not trying to groove one right down Broadway, that's for sure. Here's your payoff pitch. This one's a little flare out toward the left fielder. Guevara comes on. It's going to fall in there. Martinez will make the turn and come to home, and it's going to be a one-out RBI single, and it's 3 nothing. 
It was a really, really good approach right there on that 3-2 pitch. Came inside, just did what uh, what he could do with it. Didn't try to do too much and just sent it, you know, soft little bloop out to opposite field. And you see that a lot of those foul balls that he sent away, mm-hmm. everything was to their left side, to the left side, and then did a good job there fighting it off. So the catcher, Evan McGill, climbs in. Senior out of Ajax, Ontario, Canada. They're nationwide in Tennessee, Wesley. We were just talking about Iowa. Now we got man, we got to go to Canada, man. One away in the frame, three nothing. Gold from the stretch. He works from the stretch all the time. And the first pitch misses just off the plate for a ball. Looked like a good pitch. Throw back over, back in easily is Webster. Our crew today, Jeff Irwin is our executive producer out on the field. Jacob Hankins, got you covered with the different camera angles that you'll see. There's a slow roller right back to the pitcher. Gold's going to go to second. Can they get two? And they do. So the 1-6-3 double play gets them out of the inning. But the Bulldogs dent the scoreboard with a three spot. They lead it 3-0 as we go to the bottom of the first inning here in Grayson on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring. 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Bottom of the first inning, three to nothing. Bulldogs leading the Knights as the Knights will take their first hacks at the plate this this ball game. Jake Sargent will take the mound. Eleven appearances, a one and two record with a five point nine three ERA. Thirteen and two thirds innings of works, eighteen hits, thirteen runs, striking out twenty one. Nine earned runs on the season. And he has a whip of 1.68. We'll talk about whip a little bit later on. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the KCU Knights. Leading things off in center field is Cole Otterberg. Batting second is shortstop Christian Garcia. Batting third in left field, Leandro Guevara. The cleanup hitter is the third baseman, Jan Rivera. Batting fifth at first base, Cody Holub. Batting sixth as the designated hitter, Noah Wooten. Batting seventh and playing right field, Justin Legg. Batting eighth and catching, Aiden Bevan. And batting ninth at second base is Austin Markwell. Otterberg, Garcia, Guevara, Rivera, Holub, Wooten, Leg, Bevan, and Markwell. Defensively for the Bulldogs, left to right, Stevens, Turner, and Newman. Hubble, Martinez, Webster, and Shaw, that's third to first. McGill behind the plate, and the right-hander of Sergeant is on the bump. First pitch, a half-hearted swing that is in there for a cold, or in there for a strike. This one's fouled straight back 0-2. If you flinch, you're fired. Just remember that. Didn't even blink. No, didn't even blink. You've been around it as long as I have, man. We always tell people, say, if you flinch in the press box on the ball in the net, you're you're done. You're gone. Here's the 0-2. Trying to expand outside. Good pitch. 1-2. Sergeant with that kind of that kind of twisted angle that he starts with her on that first base side. And he goes down and away with the breaking ball that swung on a miss, one away. I think KCU is going to have to be have a selective approach at the plate in this game because when you're a team that struggles with power, um, you need to concentrate on putting the ball in play, quality at bats, good contact. Uh, so it's going to be critical for them to work the counts well. Christian Garcia climbs in, 283 hitter, 13 hits on the season. Looks at a pitch downstairs for a ball, and then Sargent's made a very clear real early. He's not afraid to go to the old old hook real quick out of the gate. 
1-0. Hit right back to him. He knocks it down. Can he make a play? The third baseman comes over with a bare hand, and it'll go down for an infield single. Hard ground ball off the pitcher. But unfortunately, instead of it knocking it right back down his feet, it trickled over toward the third base side. So that brings in Jan Rivera. They told us they switched numbers. They switched the batting position is what they've done. Rivera shows bunt, squirts this one down the third base side, draws some chalk, but it goes foul. So in one. Small ball, Ben, is something that in our days was something you had to do. Now it's something that's almost a task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, uh, it's the uh, exception. Definitely not the rule. You see some teams that play it to perfection, and it is just, I mean, you, it's its a tool. He throws a dart down the outside corner for a cold strike. It's nothing in two. In this particular region, in the high school game, you and I have seen several times, uh, several coaches that are known for just being the masters of small ball. The 0-2. Breaky ball chopped out towards short. This could be two. Martinez takes it himself, fires it over to first, and that ends the inning. One run, no one, no runs, one hit. We've played one. Three nothing. Tennessee Wesleyan in front. We're back after this on Cool TV. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle for Bird Loop, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Border Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Top of the second inning here in Grayson. 3-0 Tennessee Wesleyan in front of the Knights. Nine pitches in that first inning, Ben, we were talking about in the break. Not exactly uh, being selective in the pitches you were going to have. Had a couple good good balls, but yeah. that, that last one right at the shortstop. Yeah, I got some balls in play, which is what you have to do. You know, I mean, that's how you get on base, putting the ball in play the mo- majority of the time. But, yeah, you got to be a little bit more selective, I think. Corbin Shaw leads things off, batting 300 on the season, 15 hits. He's driven in 10, 7, 8, and 9 do up this inning for the visiting Bulldogs. The first pitch misses wide for a ball. Bulldogs did the damage early with two singles, and error removed the runners up to second and third, and then... Mr. Martinez brought them both home with a double down in the corner. The 1-0. This one's roped back up the middle and into center field for a base hit. That time it was where you had your infield. They were playing such a hard pull, and you could land a small aircraft up the middle there. And it's something that's when you get. Here's a here's a question for you: Are you a fan of analytics? To a degree. To a degree. I think we get uh, carried away with things, but uh, you know, hey. Who are we, right? Right. (laughs) When you and I rule the world, things will be different. Absolutely. Cruz Newman steps in, batting 324. He'll swing from the left side, and he looks at a breaking ball down and in. 1-0. Good look there from your field level camera. Jacob Hankins taking care of that. Happy to be here in Grayson. It's been a crazy last couple of weeks for us with the regional basketball tournament going on. We've had some some family issues with some members here with the, the station, but Everything seems to be moving in a positive direction with that, and that's good to hear. And, of course, weather. The 2-0. Swing and a miss. That was a 2-0, I'm not getting cheated, hack that was trying to park it over to the nursing home. He had big targets out there way beyond the fence on that one. Cruz, or Newman, a junior out of Richmond, Kentucky. Actually, somebody in the state. This one's roped right at the first baseman. Nice pick. Attack play out at second base, and they'll get two. Holub with a pick at first, and then fires it over to Garcia. Three to six on the double play. Two down in the inning. 
Very nicely done, having the awareness of what the situation was, where the runners were, what the right play was to make when it was hit in that direction. And the most important thing, he made certain to get one out. Yep. So base is empty, two down in the inning. Carson Ford climbs in, ninth batter of the lineup. Ford batting 235 on the season with 16 hits. How many lefties does this team have? Every time I turn around, I look at a lefty. That must be that must be a, like if you, to get recruited to go play for the Bulldogs, you have to swing left-handed. That's why they're gone. They've gone to Iowa, Canada. One on one. I remembered as a kid, I, I started batting right-handed, and of course, I was a giant Pete Rose fan. And at the age of eight, I taught myself how to bat left-handed because I wanted to be like Rose. There's a ball lifted deep right field back at the wall leg. He looks up and watch that one fly across the fence. It's out of here for a solo home run. It's 4 nothing. That one right there, friends, was a no-doubter off the bat. I know we've got wind blowing out in that direction, but I don't think that would have made it difference. That was not wind-aided. No. Wind-aided only made it go further than it did. But, man, that was a swing and just got a, got the barrel of the bat right to the ball on, on the perfect timing there. And... 50th home run this team's hit this season. It's not uncharacteristic for them to swing the long ball. Yeah. Here's your Grayson Sporty Goods instant replay. A pitch that was that was the one before. Okay, we got we got we got to time out our replay. That's the thing we're looking for here. Back to live play as we go back to the top of the order. The first pitch misses down for a ball. Jeff will work on that. We just we just got the replay back in. 2-0. Oh. I like that pitch before better than the replay. Yeah, the, 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 the re saw. replay. If we yeah. could just erase the other pitch, I think that they would be okay with it. Now, here's the one thing that I will say. How big was that double play before that swing? Mm -hmm. Put a straight number on the board instead of a crooked one at that point. You look at you know Cincinnati here locally – one of the hardest ballparks as a pitcher to pitch in because of the fly ball is, is a home run a lot of times. And you see guys in there that are successful giving up the long ball because they give up solo home runs, not two, three, and, and grand slams. So a four-pitch walk to Turner, his second time, he's on base. And with two down in the inning, that keeps the uh, inning live and the Blake Hubble appearance back. The third baseman singled to left and then moved up to second base on the air by Guevara. What you got to worry about now is, from a pitching standpoint, if you've been throwing some strikes but they've been getting laced, you begin to uh, panic a little bit and start aiming the ball. And you got to, you really would like to slow things down right here and slam the door because you've got Martinez up in the on deck circle, who roped a two RBI double his first time through. Hubble out of Knoxville, Tennessee, a junior. That one's wide for a ball, one and one. Gold already at 35 pitches in the ball game, 15 here in this frame. One, one, fouled straight back. One and two. It's a good pitch right there. Now let's see how how aggressive is Tennessee Wesley going here. Mm -hmm. I'm moving on the pitch. Yeah. I've got my leadoff guy on. You've got, you know, he's got good speed. You're in a, a runner's count. As a as a batter, you've got to protect. And as he's, as I said that, what did he do? Climbed up on the plate a little bit more. Fastball runs high though. It's two and two. And it's a full count. The so runner will get a head start on this pitch, but two down in the inning. Turner goes, swung on a miss, strike three. Nice pitch to get out of the inning. But the Bulldogs push across the run on two hits. They leave a runner. We're through an inning and a half. It's 4 nothing. We're back after this on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. 
First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Welcome back to KCU here in Grayson, Kentucky. We are entering into the bottom of the second inning here. KCU coming up to bat. So this inning due up for the Knights. 4-5 and 6 with Vera Holub and Wooten. Again, you get an inning to where you're down 4 nothing early in the ballgame. This is not a place where you want to try to force the issue. Just try to find some base runners, get some good positive at bats, make the pitcher try to work a little bit. You know, if you can scratch a run here, great, but you got to find some confidence to build on. Yeah, we want to make uh, Sergeant throw more than nine pitches in this inning for sure as Guevara steps in, get ready to take the first pitch. Comes inside and high, lays off ball one. Has not thrown a lot of fastballs in this ball game, and a lot of that is because he's been able to get ahead early. Come back with the breaking ball there, one and one. Foul back. It says a lot about a pitcher when you miss a fastball and you come back with an off-speed pitch. Yeah, he's got some confidence. Going. Absolutely. Comes with the 1-1 now. Outside. 2-1. It was a good layoff of that pitch right there. Fouled back again. Evens the count. 2-2. Two, two. Now he's shown you fastballs and off-speed. So now you've got to, you know, you've got to look fastball and be able to fight off the breaking yeah. ball. There was the breaking ball, caught him off balance. Strike three swinging. And for our fans watching at home, you get a cheat code there because you can see the old deuce <laughs> drop straight down there and knew that one was coming. Cody Holub coming up now for his first plate appearance. Made a dandy pick on that double play ball there in the second. Breaking ball inside and high. Ball one. Holup saw that one well coming out of the hand and recognized early. Pitch coming in. Fast ball. Fouled straight back. One and one. I like how he's, how he's uh, changed up his approaches. Yeah. You know, it's fast ball, curve ball. He's throwing a slider a little bit. But then he'll start off breaking ball and then comes back with a fast ball when he needs it. He's working in quite a bit as well, at the, especially early in the count. Swing and a miss. One and two. Something I've noticed about these pitches, too. It's like when they get to the plate, the bottom just tumbles out of them. One, two. Fouled off. Staying alive on that one. And there was that slider. Yep. He's been a lot, you know, fastball, curveball. And again, as a pitcher, your first time through the lineup, you try not to show all three pitches if you don't have to. Unless he's got a fourth laying around there yeah. somewhere. Or Hideki, or, you know, like a... Uh, uh, oh, right down Broadway with the heater. Caught him looking. Strike three. I just drew a total blank on the... Uh, I know you Darvish has you, a bunch not, of pitches. Yeah, you had like seven pitches. Like yeah. you had to have an arm and a leg. And, you know, he had to come out and say, all right, we're going to use these five tonight. D.H. Wooten now. The Knights got him with the breaking ball swinging. Yeah, the Padres are going to be an interesting rotation this year. They just traded for Dylan Cease. They've got Darvish slated as the ace, the number one, so it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. The, the interesting thing will be is if they can figure out a way to win, a, win games after the All-Star break. Right. 0-2 now. They should fire everybody in that organization. That payroll especially. Hi. The question is, can anybody catch the Dodgers? Yeah. I mean, you talk about a payroll. Well, I don't think anybody's going to catch them in the regular season. They have been prone to some slip-ups in the postseason, though. Yeah, that's that's typical. Yeah, you got a one and two coming to the plate. Outside, good, good take right there. Evens the count of two and two. Ooh, 
Wooten showing some patience up here with some balls out of the zone. Ooh, caught him looking. Snuck that slider in there. Yep. So we go to the top of inning number three. Four nothing. TMU TW in front. Back after this on Cool TV. JSB Industrial Solutions Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with a vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answer to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business jsb industrial solutions tollsboro kentucky rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at clark's pump and shop make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks clark's pump and shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings from our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts don't just fuel up your vehicle fuel your taste buds at clark's pump and shop your ultimate road companion Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Three, four, and five do up this inning as we go to the third. A big thanks to Ben James jumping in here. I hated he left, man. I was really enjoying doing some baseball. We will do some more, but uh, Ben's going to be covering some games here for us in Grayson. Uh, but their uh, their church is actually taking care of dinner tonight for the team, so he had to squirt away for that. But uh, he said he'd probably try to run over Saturday and work with Spencer, and then he'll be with you on Tuesday and the Knights have that single game. I believe it's against West Virginia Tech, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, it'll be right here again on Cool TV. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you see something you like. And hit that little bell, and we'll alert you each time we get new material. Marco Martinez steps in. A two-run double back in that three-run first. This pitch is down and away for a ball. Gold 40 pitches into the ball game. He's behind 2-0. and oh. Martinez, Stevens, and Webster, the three is scheduled to appear in this inning. Martinez out of Walpuente, California. Pasadena, Pasadena City College is the senior. And it's 3-0. and oh. The right-hander awaits the pitch. That's down Broadway for a cold strike, three and one. Very breezy afternoon here at the ballpark. You would never tell him by that camera angle, though. It is not even moving. You just saw a dust cloud shoot across the home plate area there. So that puts Martinez on for the second time of the ball game. the second walk issued by Gold. And that brings in the left fielder, Jack Stevens. Stevens grounded out to third his first time through. Four to nothing. Bulldogs lead this one here early. In the dirt, kicks away from the catcher. That'll allow Martinez to move up on the wild pitch. So runner in scoring position here with nobody out. The Bulldogs looking for more. Already leading 4 0. Play a nine inning game today. This was game, this game was originally scheduled for tomorrow, but due to incoming weather, hence the reason why we got the crazy winds going on. Uh, they moved this one up today and they'll be back on Saturday to play the second and third game of the conference series. Twelve o'clock first pitch scheduled. There's a ball rope, but right at the left fielder, Guevara, that one ate him up. He'll knock it down and keep the runners at the corners. That one got on him in a hurry. It looked like he kind of got frozen on which direction he wanted to go with it. So in comes Kale Webster. Change up misses away for a ball. Web
Webster singled and was retired in a double play to end the first inning of play. There's a chopper out towards second base that finds its way into center field. Stevens will go first to third. It's an RBI single for Webster, and it's 5 nothing. Stevens got a good jump on that one as it found its way into right center field. So still nobody out, and Evan McGill to the plate. McGill hit into that inning-ending double play on a comebacker to Gold at the mound. Eight hits already for the visiting Bulldogs. That one's down and away. 1-0. We go one home run on this season. No doubles. Five driven in. Throw to first is back in. There's a flare into left field. That one will bring home another runner and make it 6 nothing. So now runners at first and second. We'll get a courtesy runner for the catcher. As Escato will come on and run. And Corbin Shaw, the first baseman, steps in. Singled his first time. Three's one for one. Tries to work down and in and misses. Six nothing. Nobody out. Two on. Nine hits already for the Bulldogs here in this early going. Evan flashes the sign out to his right-hander. And a swing and a miss. A 1-1. Sneaks that one in there for a cold strike. Nice pitch. One, two. Chopper over to third base. They'll go to second for the first out. So the runners will move to first and third on the fielder's choice, but there's one down in the inning. And Webster just kind of did a good job there of freezing and forcing Rivera to make a decision. So in comes Cruz Newman. Hit into a double play on a rope over to Holub at first base. Back in the second inning. They take another one of those to get out of this frame right here. In a heartbeat and a changeup that's down and away for a call and strike 0-1. Count yeah, evens at one and one. Top of the third inning here, six nothing Bulldogs early. That one stays up out of the zone. Two balls and a strike. Big swing and a miss. 
Two balls, two strikes. One away. Forward in the on-deck circle would go next. Runners at the corners. Misses low, ball three. And now the question is, will the Bulldogs start the runner with only one out on the payoff pitch? Outfield shaded just a little bit toward the right center side. Out in center field is Otterberg. The pitch. And this is a rocket out into left field or center field. Otterberg settles into the gap, makes the catch. That will allow Webster to tag and score. The sacrifice fly makes it 7 0. Hit it to the deepest part of the park. So now, two down in the inning, a Carson Ford, who went yard his first time through. Senior out of Spring Hill, Tennessee, from Western Carolina University. Lays off that one, but it's in there for a call and strike, going one. Top of the order up next. Gold already at 61 pitches here with two and two-thirds innings of work. And we got a baseball that got loose over in the bullpen area. Guevara will toss that one over into the near the tarp. Nestled over by third base, and we'll get back to what underway. Two down in the frame. Shaw at first. Tries to bring in a breaky ball that stays down and in. Count goes to one and one. Three in the first, one in the second, three more here in the third. This one's lifted skyward, left field. Guevara called off by Otterberg as he comes all the way over into the gap and makes a great catch to end the inning. But the Bulldogs add to their lead. They push across three runs on three hits. They leave a runner. 7 nothing as we go to the bottom of inning number three on Cool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs, whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event. a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Bottom of the third. Sorry, you caught me there in a mid-drink. <laughs> Trying to get some water in there quickly. 7 nothing. your score. As Tennessee Wesleyan leading KCU. 7-8-9 and nine to up this inning for the Knights. Leg, Bevan, and Markwell. So Justin Leg. Redshirt sophomore out of Huntington, West Virginia. Played his ball at Huntington High, batting 333 on the year. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. Jake Sargent has just really kind of come at this KCU lineup. Trying to jump on top early and then goes with the breaking balls from there. That one misses up and away for a ball. It's even one and one. Seven runs on nine hits for the Bulldogs. Here's the 1-1. Swing and a miss. Look at the over the shoulder, shoulder there of Turner. 
This one's swung on and right at Turner. He drops back and makes the catch. One away. I think that one faked our camera guy out. Might have been able to stay on the center field camera if we had a way to build it out. It was going right at it. So Aiden Bevin, the catcher, steps in. Bevin out of Grand Junction, Colorado, Palisade High School. This one stroked out into left center field and a one-out single for the catcher. Second hit of the ball game. We get a courtesy runner for him. As Thomason will come on. And that'll bring in Austin Markwell, the second baseman. Out of Versailles, the red shirt freshman, Woodford County High School. 375 hitter. He rockets this one on a one hopper right at Martinez. He knocks it down, gets one, gets two. And for the second time in three innings, the Knights go down in order with an inning-inning double play. We've played three, seven-nothing Bulldogs. Back after this on Cool TV. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around where does your money go when you bank with us your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan a real estate agent sells a house they get a commission they deposit it with us we use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers hometown people helping each other grow that's what it's all about first in people's bank and trust company member fdic we are the home office New pitcher on the bump as Ben Hargrove takes over. His second appearance on the season is a 4.5 ERA. Two innings, two hits, two runs, his walk four. Giving up one earned run on the season. Beth Gold, my... Let me, let me try this again. Beth Cloud, it rhymes with Cloud Loud. So, I'm still not catching the... Of the, how to pronounce the pronoun, properly pronounce the last name. My apologies. I'll try to get with the coach and get that squared away. Gowd, I'm guessing. But my apologies. Again, we go with try to what we've got here and try to do the best we can. But uh, my my dear apologies on that. So. His final line looks like this. Nine hits, seven runs, all earned. Strike out one, walk two. So Hargrove, Hargrove will go to work on the top three of the order as Turner Hubble and Martinez goes back to work. Hargrove, the southpaw, out of Union County, Ohio, from Sturgis, Kentucky, up near or they're part of the state, I believe. Union County. Help me out, Jeff. Union County. Swing and a miss. Took a little bit off of that one. One on one. That was up and away, two and one. Morganfield. Oh, Mount Vernon, okay. Down in the central part of the state. Chopper foul at the plate. It's down toward that exit my wife knows a lot about. Mount Vernon.
This one lifted straight up in the elevator shaft. The shortstop Garcia has a beat on it. Settles back onto the collar and makes the catch one away. That's one thing. A ball gets up in the air today. It is difficult to deal with because of this crazy wind. Actually, right now, the flags are kind of just very softly dancing away from the mass. When we started this ball game, I mean, they were absolutely just hammering past off of the mast over there. So Blake Hubble, one for two, steps in. First pitch misses down and away for a ball. 378 hitter on the season. A chopper over toward the second baseman. Markwell knocks it down, but he can't corral it back in. And it'll be a one-out single for Hubble, his second hit of the ball game. Great hustle there by Markwell to get to that ball and knock it down. But it corralled off of his body and away from him before he could pick it up and get it over to Hubble. So the 10th hit of the ball game. And that brings in Marco Martinez. One for one, walked his last time through. And he sneaks in a breaking ball on the top of the zone for a called strike. From the belt. This one's lifted off the end of the bat. Guevara back at the wall, looks up, and it's gone. A two-run shot, the second home run of the ball game for the Bulldogs, and they extend their lead. It's 9-0. Just snuck it over the fence out there in left field. So base is empty. Jack Stevens will climb in. One for two. Stevens grounded out his first time through it and singled and scored in a third. He's quickly ahead. One and oh. Two and zero. Oh. Swing and a miss. Stevens wasn't getting cheated on that hack. Webster will swing next. This one's hit back up the middle. Markwell ranging toward the bag. Nice play. Two down. So here comes Kale Webster. Second baseman, two for two in the ballgame. Two singles, scored in the third. Nine runs, 11 hits, no errors for the visiting Bulldogs. Zero, two, and one for KCU. Catcher McGill would go next if the inning continues. Got him to ch try to check the swing, but the home plate umpire says he did not. And Hargrove jumps ahead. This one's lifted skyward, drifting over in foul territory as the first baseman. Making a nice catch there in front of our camera is Mr. Holub. And that ends the inning. But the Bulldogs pick up two runs on two hits. Nobody left on. Three and a half in the books. Nine nothing. They lead it. Back after this on Cool TV. Primary Plus is celebrating 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. 
If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. New pitcher in for the Bulldogs as Sam Ricard. Senior out of Williamsburg, Virginia. Central Arizona College was where he made his first stop before heading off to the Bulldogs. This is sixth appearance on the season, a 2-1 record with a 3.04 ERA. 23 and two-thirds innings of work, 20 hits, 10 runs, 22 strikeouts on the season. An ERA of 8 and a whip of 1.01. And you ask, what is whip? So it's walks times hits per innings pitched. Essentially what that is is it's another number other than your ERA that it uh, allows you to kind of judge what a batter or a pitcher can do with runners on base and how effective they are against hitters because it doesn't take into effect of, of the error in an inning. As Cole Honorberg lifts this one skyward, it's going to drift out of play. Now just in play barely, but the first baseman Shaw could not get there. But a, a 1.01, that's uh, pretty solid. Usually if it's at a 1, it's almost perfect. So you think about an ERA average is, you know, if you got two outs in the inning and a runner reaches due to an error and then there's five home runs hit, none of those count toward that pitcher's ERA because the inning should have stopped. So quickly, 0-2. Otterberg 0 for 1 in the ball game. Big right-hander comes to the plate. He swings in a two-hopper out to Martinez with a pick and a throw, one down. So, Jeff, you'll get a kick out of this. As I was talking about Mount Vernon, my wife, she had just tuned into the ballgame. She said literally she had just tuned in, just getting off work. So Christian Garcia climbs in, one for one. Garcia out of Houston, Texas, a sophomore. I did a little peek down at the gentleman standing in front of me with the radar gun, and that one flashed 9-0 on the fastball right down Broadway. That one's off the plate, one on one. We've got to work that in. We've got to get a, a radar gun. We might have to tell our general manager we're going to have to spend some money. We need a radar gun for the broadcast. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Tries to run that one inside and nearly gets him, 2-1. Misses upstairs. Three balls and a strike. As Garcia tries to work himself on for the second time today. Knights are down 9-0. It's 3-1. Fastball lifted skyward. Shallow right field coming on is Newman. Reaches up, makes the grab. Two down. So it brings in Jan Rivera. Rivera 0 for 1. And into that ground ball, ground ball double play to end the first inning, his first and only time through tonight. Chops this one foul at the plate. And a Vega Alta, Puerto Rico is a sophomore. But a sun peeking through for the first time today. Here's a two-hopper out to the second baseman, Webster, with a pick and a throw and another clean inning for the Bulldogs. They lead at 9-0 as we go to the fifth 
after this on Cool TV. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. We go to the top of the fifth inning, a call to the bullpen for the Knights as Jesus Avila will take the mound for the first time today. So Hargrove works one inning of play. Bulldogs lead at 9 nothing. So the line on Hargrove, two hits, two runs, both earned. That came off the two-run home run. Nine, eleven, and zero for the Bulldogs. Zero, two, and one for KCU. Hey, if you're tuned in with us here on Cool TV, drop it in the chat box there. Let us know where you're tuned in from, and I'll give you a shout out here on the air. Again, we'll be back with you on Saturday for the Twin Bill, scheduled at twelve and two. They'll play two seven inning games. This game originally scheduled to play tomorrow, but due to impeding weather heading into this area, they decided to move it up to today. So, and of course, it helps having an extra day, hour of daylight. And matter of fact, of it is, it's 78 degrees outside. Last time we were here, it was snowing. So McGill leads things off. The catcher looks at a first pitch off the plate for a ball, 1-0. McGill 1-2. for two. Two and 2-0. Oh. And sent foul and out of play over on the football field. The 2-2. Two -two. Trying to sneak it in there. It's a full count. Payoff pitch. Down the first base side and foul. Lifted skyward, but right at Otterberg out in straightaway center field. Drops back in front of the fence. Reaches up off the batter's eye. It's over top of his hand and out of here for a solo home run. To the deepest part of the park at 400 feet. Otterberg just kept drifting back and it gets up against the face of the batter's eye and right off the just above the top of his glove. So that makes it 10 nothing, And the third home run of the afternoon sent out of here by Bulldogs hitters. They've got 52 now on the season. So Corbin Shaw, the first baseman, steps in. He's one for two. Shot of Conyers, Georgia.
You look at this Bulldogs team coming in. They were 43-11 and last season, 29-1 and in the conference. 11 and or 14 and 9 coming into this ball game, 7 and 5 in conference play. This one's inside for a ball, 2 and 0. Oh. Three and oh. Team batting at an average of 330 on the year. 53 doubles, 7 triples, and 49 home runs coming into this contest. And a four-pitch walk off offered to Corbin Shaw. So Bevan will have a quick word with his pitcher Avila. And Cruz Newman will step in. Newman 0 for 1 today. Get into a double playback in the second and a sacrifice fly in the third. Well, Vila settled onto the rubber on the first base side from the belt. Pipes that one in, but it's low for a ball. That one's at the bell, a called strike. Evening things at one on one. John Tolson tuned in today from Calhoun, Georgia. Thanks for tuning in this afternoon with us. Breaking ball that gets away from Avila. Count goes to two and one. Three balls and a strike. Gets the sign from Bevan from the belt. And a throw over back in his shawl on the diving attack. Misses low ball four. Back-to-back -back walks, and there's two on. Already one across here on the frame. And we go back to the, or excuse me, the nine-hole hitter, of Carson Ford, then back to the top of the order. Ford's already lifted one out of here to deep right field. His first time through today. He's one for two. And we're going to get a visit to the mound before Ford gets his swings. Again, back here on Saturday afternoon at 12 o'clock, scheduled first pitch. They'll play two seven-inning games. Spencer Hutchinson will be on the call with you. And back here on Tuesday for a single game. Game scheduled for 2 p.m. That's against West Virginia Tech. Then next weekend, they go to Alaska, Georgia, a three-game series with Reinhardt. Then back home on the 29th and 30th, a Friday, Saturday, with Brian in, with Brian in town. For more AAC baseball action. Two on, nobody out. Top of the order in the on deck circle, but first Carson Ford. Started to offer and holds up. 
It's a called strike. It's 0-1-1. Bevan flashes through his signals with runners at first and second. Avila takes a look at the runner at second base. Comes the plate, and this one's lifted skyward. Catcher has a beat on an infield fly rule. They can't make the play. The runner is out. Now they've got the runners in a pickle, and they're going to get a two uh, a double play here because the batter is out, and they got the runner going from second to third. So, again, the way the infield fly rule works is you are at liberty to move on your own peril. The ball was dropped, so Shaw thought he had to advance. So the infield fly rule erases the batter, and then Shaw is cut down at third base. Newman is going to advance on the play. And we go back to the top of the order. And we're going to get a pinch hitter for Braxton Turner. And Cody McGill will step in. McGill, a 290 hitter. And another left-hander. Out of Roswell, Georgia, sophomore. Big swing and a miss. Runner second base, two down here in the inning. This one's fouled away. He's quickly behind nothing in two. Bulldogs have scored in every inning, but the big number coming with the seven-run third. Excuse me, the three-run third. Net was in my way. There was no way there were seven runs. They only scored ten. <laughs> Three in the first, one in the second, three in the third, two in the second. Or two in the fourth, one here in the fifth. One ball, two strikes. Bevan runs through the signs. Avila has the one he likes. And a swing and a miss on the slider down and in for a called strike. Three, and that ends the inning. But the Bulldogs push across a run. On one hit, they leave a runner. 10 nothing as we go to the bottom of inning number five on Cool TV. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle for Bird Loop, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV-compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com Some defensive changes for the Bulldogs. Webster moves from second to third. Escato goes to second base now. McGill remains in the game. He'll go to right. Newman moves over from right to to center. So second time through the order for the Knights, as it'll be 4, 5, and 6, Leandro Guevara steps in out of Venezuela. Looks at a pitch downstairs for a ball, 1 and 0. 333 hitter on the season. This 
It's chopped on the third base side and a foul ball. Guevara went one for four in the win over Alice Lloyd on Tuesday down in Pippa Passes. Punched out 14 hits, did the Knights. Here's a ball down the right side. And dropping back is McGill in front of the fence, who makes the catch. Kind of froze him there off the bat. So in comes the first baseman, Cody Holub. Out of Eddyville, Kentucky. I know where Eddyville is. If you don't know where Eddyville is, let me cue, cue you in of a great restaurant. It's called Patty's 1880 Settlement. If anybody's listening in and has from that area, you know exactly where I'm talking about down in that area. The best pork chop in the absolute world. Breaking ball, top of the zone, evens the things at one of one. Swing and a miss. The even better part is their desserts. They have 40 different desserts down there, and their moraine pies are guaranteed to have at least six inches of moraine. Had a piece of lemon moraine pie down there one time. It looked like GMA Neutron's hair. One-two pitch. That one's to the backstop. Cloudy conditions here at the ballpark. Rain moving in overnight. Reason we're playing today instead of tomorrow. This one's fouled straight back. Should be out of here by tomorrow evening, so we'll have some time to get things ready to go. And they'll tarp the field after the game today, so we'll be good to go on Saturday. Clear skies on Saturday. Not as warm. 2-2, two, two, swung on a miss. Strike three. Two down. That brings in Noah Wooten, who's 0 for 1. Crazy thing is, it's 77, 78 degrees today. We're going to see a chance of some snow and down in the 40s back on uh, on Monday. Here's a look at your Grayson Sporting Goods instant replay on that last swing and a miss with the slider down and away. He sneaks that first pitch in there for a called strike. Swing and a miss. Card crying, trying to make quick work. Goes to the outside corner, but it's wide. McGill wanted it outside or wanted it up. He went out. See if they try to go with some. Heat here, or, or that one to the outside corner missed very wide. Count goes to two and two. Breaky ball, foul tipped into the mid, strike three, and that'll end the inning. We've played five. 10 nothing Bulldogs. Back for more after this on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup, 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. 
Call to the bullpen for the Knights as Ryan Volt will take over. Sixth appearance on the season without a record is going to an ERA of 3.10. 29 innings of works, 28 hits, 17 runs, 24 strikeouts, 10 earned runs of those 17 given up. A whip of 1.45 for the right-hander. Vote out of Louisville, Kentucky. Ten nothing in the top of the sixth. Do up this inning two, three, and four. Hubble, Martinez, and Stevens. Nine innings today, two sevens on Saturday. Knights will be back in action on Tuesday. They'll bring in West Virginia Tech. We'll be with you for all three of the upcoming matchups. Looks like it's going to be so Escoto will ch check into the ball game for Hubble. So Hagen Escoto, 333 hitter, six hits, four RBIs, no doubles, a home run. First pitch in there for a cold strike. One on one. Escoto out of Amarillo, Texas, a sophomore. But his son peeking through the clouds for the second time in the ball game. This one's a two hopper out to the third baseman Rivera, flipping a pick, one down. So Marco Marco Martinez to the plate. Double and a home run in this ball game. That was in there for a called strike. This one's fouled away. Off to the right side, it's nothing in two. Slider goes wide, one and two. When kicking up again. Big sinker ball thrower, or sidearm thrower, I should say. This one's roped out to Rivera at third. Nice play and a good toss across, two down. Got that hard sidearm there with that. Kind of submarine, that was the word I was looking for, not sinker. Still trying to work from basketball back into baseball season. Making the transition. All of us are. Did 14 games in eight days over in Moorhead. So Jack Stevens in. He's one for three this afternoon. Singled and scoring a third. Two ground outs. Swing and a miss on that one. Got him to chase up and out. And a big thanks to all of our great sponsors along with us this season for nice baseball coverage. Our title sponsor, Clark's Pump and Shops, a a Porter Party, and River City's Builders. 
This one's a nubber off the end of the bat, a backhand out at short, a long throw and a pick, but they can't get it. Garcia made a strong throw across, but Holub couldn't pick it out of the dirt. Take a look at it on your Grayson Sportigo's instant replay. So he had to range deep in the hole, and the ball goes down, and Holub couldn't make the pick. Twelfth hit of the ball game. Runner aboard, but two down in the inning. Kel Webster, who's two for three, steps in. Snuck that one in on the outside corner, but the umpire doesn't think so. 2-0. and oh. That was in there at the knees. Two and one. Bolton has the one he wants. The offering. It's lifted skyward in the middle of the field. The shortstop ranging all the way to second base, and Garcia makes a dandy catch. And ends the inning. Take a look at this one on your Grayson Sporting Goods instant replay. He had to go a long ways to find it. And then when he did find it, he was all the way over on the second base side. Nice play there by Garcia. No runs, a hit. One left on through five and a half. Ten nothing, our score back after this on Cool TV. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with the vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answer to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Tollsboro, Kentucky. Gotta, we got to get our guy on the field. He's got to give us something better to look at than a long bullpen shot. He's still stuck in basketball mode, thinking he's got stuff moving all the time. We'll work on it. Uh, we, our, I've got a great crew here working with me today with uh, Jacob and Jeff. Phenomenal guys, and they do a remarkable job at everything they do. So Ricard will go out for his third inning of work. He'll go to work in 7, 8, and 9. Justin Legg will start things off. Flew out to center field his first time through. He's ahead 2 and nothing. Ten, thirteen, and zero, zero, two, and one. That's your line for the ball game thus far. Ricard behind three and nothing here to the leadoff hitter Justin Legg. Three O's in there for a cold strike. This one's fouled away, and the count goes full. Payoff pitch in there for call strike three as he piped that one right down Broadway, one away in the sixth. And the catcher, Aiden Bevan, to the plate. 
Bevan out of Grand Junction, Colorado, the sophomore catcher. One for one here this afternoon. That one's in there, a cold strike. Singled back in the third inning and his only time to the plate this evening. That one's downstairs, just out of the zone. Count evens at one and one. Right in her back to work. Two and one. Lays off the fastball at 89 miles an hour. Three and one. Saw 91 one time on the radar gun down in front of me. He's been staying around 90 most of the game. Here's a 3-1 offering to Bevan. This one's rocketed out into the gap. That one's going to find its way down, and Bevan with a two-hit ball game. He's got two of the three hits on the afternoon. Good piece of hitting right there by the sophomore. So Austin Markwell steps in. Markwell 0 for 1. Hit into an inning-inning double play in the third. Knights have gone into two inning-inning double plays, once in the first, once in the third. Pitch misses wide for a ball. Courtesy runner over at first base is Thomason. Chopper out toward the third baseman. Webster picks it up. He'll make the throw toward first base. And a big pick there by Shaw to get the out. Webster played it off his chest. Here's a Grayson Sporting Goods instant replay. And a nice scoop there by the first baseman to get the out. So it moves Thomason out to second base. And with two down in the inning. We go back to the top of the order in Cole Otterberg, who's 0 for 2. That one gets past the catcher. That allows the runner to move up. And the Knights have a runner 90 feet away from putting in their first run of the ball game, trailing 10 0 here in the bottom of inning number six. My producer hit the wrong eight. <laughs> Misses wide for a ball. It happens. This is the most that Ricard has labored in his two plus innings of work. Now two and two thirds officially. 16 pitches here in the inning, 40 in the ball game. Otterberg trying to work himself on for the first time today to keep the inning alive with two down and a runner at third. The 3-0. That one's inside ball four and a four-pitch walk issued to the leadoff man, and that brings Christian Garcia to the plate. Great opportunity here for the Knights to dent the scoreboard and try to maybe make this thing a little interesting, and before we do so, we'll get a visit from the pitching coach for the Bulldogs. Get us the first time with us here on Cool TV. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you see something you like. Hit that little bell. We'll alert you each time we have new material coming out. Game one of the uh, three-game series here in conference play back at home for the Knights after the trip last weekend down to U-Pike and then Tuesday down in Pippa Passes, Kentucky against Alice Lloyd. Two games on Saturday and then back here on Tuesday for a single game against West Virginia Tech. And that'll head off to Alaska, Georgia, and Reinhardt next week. So Christian Garcia to the plate. Singled in the first, flew out in the fourth. Two on, two out. A fastball right on the outside corner called strike.
I just need to find a way to score to run across here. That would be huge in the momentum. Just trying to get back in this one. This one's out of play. If he goes with that big slider. Was hacked out of play straight back. Count stays at no balls and two strikes. Runners at the corners. Big opportunity here for the Knights. Trying to get back in this one. Guard checks his runners to the plate. And misses down and away with that slider. One and two. We go flash of the sign. And misses high with a breaking ball. Never got that one to tumble. Two balls and two strikes. Two's wild across the board. Two, two balls, two strikes, two down here in the sixth inning. Getting late here in Grayson. Knights down 10 0. With two on, and an opportunity here to dent the scoreboard. 2 2, lifted skyward, deep left field. Stevens dropping back at the warning track, back at the fence, reaches up and makes the catch, and ends the inning. But a very loud out for the Knights comes up empty. As a deep swing by Garcia checks up by the wall, and the Knights leave them with two on as we go to the seventh in a 10 nothing ball game. Back after this on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www dot fnb grayson dot com first national bank member fdic not only is state senator robin webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom but your state senator robin webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district robin webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike whether it's in frankfurt or here at home in her district know that robin webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes state senator robin webb strives harder every day to make kentucky a better place to work live and have fun New pitcher. Looks like the Knights are going to try to roll out a new arm each inning, trying to get some guys work here as Cam Carpenter will take over. Only a second appearance on the season. He's worked two innings, two strikeouts. Has not allowed a hit or a run. He'll go to work on the bottom half of the order as McGill, Shaw, and Newman McGill two for three today, double play inning, inning play on the first, singled in the third, had a solo home run back in the fifth. Excuse me, this is a pinch hitter now, Kate Botchler. He rockets this one out into right field, leg on his horse, reaching up. That one gets over top of his head and up against the fence. And Botchler's first hit this season is going to go home with a leadoff double. Corbin Shaw climbs in, one for two. Singled in the second, hit into a fielder's choice in the third, and walked in the fifth. This one's cue balled off the end of the bat, into the backstop, 0-1. The sunshine peeking through once again. Some ominous looking clouds down the way toward Greenup, back over toward the Ohio River. It's 
one's up and in. Rain not supposed to roll in here until after midnight. Some thunderstorms and then off and on most of the day tomorrow evening until about 5, 6, 7 o'clock. And the rain should be gone and a little cooler but uh, clean weather on Saturday. Breaking ball boxed up nicely there by Bevan. You know, the best part about coming to Grayson, too, is Johnny's Pizza. If you've never, if you make the trip up to come and visit the Knights or haven't tried it, go try Johnny's Pizza up in Main Street. I'll be there after the game. Here's a ball lifted out in the right center field gap, giving chase. That one's up at the wall and gone. Otterberg and leg converge, and that one gets out of here. A two-run shot by Corbin Shaw. As he goes oppo taco and makes it 12 nothing. Fourth home run of the ball game by this Bulldogs team. Cruz Newman climbs in 0 for 1. Walked in a fifth, sacrificed fly in a third, and then hit into a double play in the second. 14th hit of the afternoon by this Bulldogs team. It's a chopper fouled on the first base side. Count evens at one and one. The one one. That was downstairs for a ball. Two and one. Swing and a miss. Two two. Okay, we're playing nine innings here this afternoon. Pitch in the dirt makes it a full count. Carpenter checks the sign for Bevan, has the one he likes. The payoff pitch. This one's hammered into right field and a base hit. Fifteenth hit of the ball game. And that takes us to Carson Ford. One of four home runs in the ball game has come from him, and we're gonna get a visit to the mound before he steps in. Let's see if we're gonna get a call to the bullpen as uh, we will. We'll step aside for a break, call to the bullpen for the Knights. We'll tell you about it when we return after this on Cool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Call to the bullpen for the Knights as the South Ball Carter Sprouse will take over. One on, nobody out here in the seventh. A 
This will be the first time Sprouse has taken the mound this season, which is why my producers back there are like, I don't have a graphic for this guy. That's the reason. Sprouse, a freshman out of Bluntville, Tennessee, getting his first collegiate action here this afternoon. He'll inherit a runner at first base. And nobody out here in the top half of the seventh inning. 12 runs, 15 hits. No errors for the Bulldogs. 0, 3, and 2 for the Knights. And Carson Ford, the left-hander, will climb in. 1 for 3 this afternoon. Sprouse slings that one wide for a ball. And that one hit him. So first hit batter of the ball game. So two on with nobody out. Back to the top of the order we go. And Cody McGill. McGill 0 for 1. Struck out to end the fifth inning. That one buzzed the tower and got all the way to the backstop. Both runners advanced 90 feet. Already two runs across here in the seventh. Sprouse has to settle in and try to find something to Find it out. It's high for a ball, 2-0. and oh. Again, you first time out on the mound as a freshman and first collegiate appearance, obviously you're amped up in the middle of a 12-0 ball game, so you want to try to do something good. Right now, just got to settle in, find the strike zone. And that one's down and in, and it's 3-0. and oh. From the belt, misses high ball four, and they're loaded. So Hagan Escado will step in, second baseman, 0 for 1. Grounded out to open up the sixth. Three ducks on the pond for the Bulldogs. Newman at third, four down at second. McGill over at first. An opportunity to add to this 12-0 lead here with one swing of the bat from Escado. He ropes this one down the right field line, giving Chase his leg. That one finds its way into the corner and up against the fence. Escado runs his man from second to third as McGill was kind of hung up. Moscato's like, why is he not running? He's going to push across two on the RB, two RBI double and make it 14 to nothing. And you look like we got a little dark on our camera here, but man, you can see the skies off in the distance there. It is getting ominous. I'm green up right now. So Marco Martinez, two for three in. There's a breaking ball that gets in there for a cold strike. The 0-1 in there for a call strike, nothing and two. Martinez, a ground out victim, victim in the sixth, had a solo home run in the fourth and walked and scored in the third. Two on, nobody out. This one's out of play. So 
Yeah, it looks like right now the end of the world is going through Greenup County. As long as it stays on that side of the river and stays away from here. The 0-2 from the South Pole. Lifted weakly out into left. Guevara coming on, makes the catch. They'll fire it back in, and McGill will hold at third base and does not try to tag out. Tag up one away in the inning. Good job there by Guevara to get around that ball and set his feet to toss it in. So Jack Stevens, one for four, comes to the plate. Singled and scored in a third. Hit a ball in a hold out in short his last time through that was ruled an error. So two miscues on Knight's defense. The first one came in the first inning. That was on the ball and the second ball hit in the game out at the Guevara and left. Big swing and a miss. This will be a big at bat here for Sprouse to get through this one and find another out. Looks like he's kind of settled himself in, gathered himself a little bit after getting roughed up there early. This one's downstairs. I don't like when I get those alerts on my phone from AccuWeather. Somebody, somebody's going to have to put some uh, blinders on as, as we get a, a special weather alert and the sun comes out even brighter. 1-1, one, one, fouled straight back. 1-2. and two. Wind really... Whipping up around the ballpark now. Kind of blowing almost out toward left center field now. It was in the right center field when we started this ball game. Here's a ball out into the gap in left center field. That one's going to two off up against the wall. Both runners will score. Steven slams on the brakes for a two RBI double. And it's 16 to nothing. So a mound visit again. Let's see if we get another call to the bullpen, and we will. Call to the bullpen for the Knights. Still only one out here in the seventh. We'll tell you about it when we return after this on Cool TV. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around where does your money go when you bank with us your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan a real estate agent sells a house they get a commission they deposit it with us we use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers hometown people helping each other grow that's what it's all about first in people's bank and trust company member FDIC we are the home office Logan Martin will take over on the mound. This will be his second appearance this season. Comes up with a rec an ERA of 27. A third of an inning of work. Two hits, four runs. Only one of those earned. He struck out a batter. Martin, a redshirt freshman out of Harrodsburg, Kentucky, down south of Lexington out of Mercer County High School. He'll inherit a run around at second base, so the Book for Sprouse is still open. Let's see, actually, that may have closed the book on Sprouse. Nope, he still has the run. I'm trying to keep all the people in order that was there. So Sprouse is still on the hook for Stevens out there at second base. Bulldogs roughing up the Knights here in the Series opener leading 16 to nothing. Looked into the scoreboard six times here in the seventh. 17 total hits. They've gone yard four times. Knights 11 and 10 on the season, but have managed to only 
Pushed across one win in conference play, and that was against Montreat in the series opener, and then they fell on the next two here in Grayson. So we'll get a pinch hitter as Chad Picton will step in for his first at-bat this season. Martin from the belt. The right-hander kicks and deals and misses high for a ball. Here's the 1-0. Lifted skyward, and that one's going to drift out of play. And our crew this afternoon, Jeff Irwin, our executive producer, and Jacob Hankins down on the camera on the field, bringing all these great shots that you see here today on Cool TV. The 1-1. One, one. Straight away center field. Otterberg drifting back in front of the fence. Put his hands up. And does he bring it back in? He does. They make the catch. They're going to double up the runner out at second base. What a catch there by Otterberg as he brings it back in the park. They're going to say the runner at second tie. I think he left early. That's why I was considering watching him for the appeal play. That's where we needed a, uh, a replay on the, uh, the runner coming from second to third. So Botchler in. Sends this one down the third base side, giving chases Rivera, and it'll get over t into the warning track area up against the fence for a foul ball. Botchler doubled for his first hit of the season on a rope down the right field line. 155 to be exact, Mr. Producer. Martin trying to close the door here in the seventh. I'm going to miss this wide for a ball. Count goes to one and one. This is a rocket out into right center field. Otterberg dropping back, and does he make the catch? He does. Take a look at this one on your Grayson Sport against instant replay. What a catch by Otterberg. Into the gap, reaches up and makes the catch right in front of the warning track. And that'll end the inning. The Bulldogs leave a runner. They get six across on five hits. Time to stretch. 16-0 as we go to bottom of number seven after this on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to myclarkspns.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. Here's another look at that catch. This was worth looking at it again. 
Cole Otterberg just robbed a double and saved another run with a heck of a diving catch out there in right center field to end the seventh inning. James Carr, you're happy to have you along with us here. Heck of an effort there by our camera operator. Now we've got a meeting at the mound, and I don't know that we didn't, or excuse me, at the home plate area, I don't know if we didn't get a maybe some lightning or something, but they they were, they being the Bulldogs, were out on the field. And, you know, they're saying they had some lightning in the area. As Carson Clark had gone out to start his warm-ups as we were going to have a change in pitching. So now both managers meeting at home plate. Let's see if the discussion is, do we finish this one or are they going to put a knife in this one and call it finished? Bulldogs have dented the scoreboard with runs in every frame except for the sixth. And they took care of that with six in the seventh. Three in the first and one in the second. Three more in the third. Two in the fourth. One in the fifth. Did not score in the sixth. And then six in the seventh inning. They've had four home runs in this ballgame. Nearly had five on Otterberg. Robbing one off the batter's eye in straightaway center field. And here's, here's, I'm going to give my producer a, a, a rough one here. Can you get me a, a radar on screen? Listen, there, there's nothing my producer cannot do. It's just say and, and it'll be there. This is where my meteorology, meteorology side will come. And we can, as you, as you saw, and you can kind of still see there in your screen, looking back over toward the football field. Now that's looking back toward the 64 West area back toward Olive Hill. And you still see some of those bluish clouds with the sun peeking through for, from underneath them. But then as we look out in towards center field, look at this. Don't mind the silliness over on the left-hand side, but uh, hey, we'll take the radar. But you can see on your screen, this is where I need a telestrator, right? I need, I need a pen. Somebody give me a pen. You can see right there in between Moorhead and Huntington, that dot, that is Grayson. And that cell is just flirting right above I-64, which is heading toward Greenup. Now, can we put it in motion? Let's see what we get here. Oh, yeah. So that one's shifting through, showing around about 555 was what that one was showing. Just one little cell, but you can see how that stuff blows up as it gets on up, and then later tonight you can see the stuff start popping. Stop it right there. So we're at 545 was what it was. Let's back up a little bit. Go back to 545 there. Go back to 530 now. Yeah, so we're looking, you know, about 30 minutes before that thing's going to be sitting right on top of us coming out of here. But uh, some definite power in that little sign, little supercell right there right now that's kind of almost up around Flemingsburg, kind of moving in a, a southeasterly direction sliding through Grayson, coming out of Maysville. You tell me another broadcasting company that's going to give you meteorology, meteorology work and uh, a weather forecast with live weather maps in the middle of a baseball game. That's the producer I have here. I give him a challenge to say, hey, I need this, and he gives it to us. Now, you can see as we, as we run this through, go ahead and let it run, Jeff. As this stuff slides apart... Now pause it about right there at 7. Now you can start to see that cell start to grab right as it gets into the mountains. That's when that cell starts to, uh, that blow that's pushing in here, it starts to stall out. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's the blow up. Everything starts to develop back around Lexington, back in Louisville, up into Madison, Indiana, and into Cincinnati. And then later tonight, around 10, 11 o'clock, we're going to start seeing those showers picking up, maybe some thunder showers overnight. Most of the day tomorrow, we're going to be off and on thunderstorms. But right now, that one cell that you see just going across that orange dot there in the center of your screen, that's what we've got that has got us in a lightning delay. Now you pull it up a little bit more. Man, you're, you're making me happy right now, man. You don't understand. This is the 
the weatherman inside of me right now just having a field day with this. Chris Bailey, eat your heart out. So we are officially in a lightning delay for a supercell that is just northwest of Grayson. Kind of pushing back out of there toward Flemingsburg, in between Flemingsburg and Vanceburg. And then that stuff you see there up on your screen much later on tonight. So, But we're stuck at a 16-0 game as we go into the bottom of the seventh inning. All right, well, to step aside for a break, Jeff, make this one a two-minute so we can kind of gather ourselves and see where we are. And then we'll bring you back here for Grayson for more after this on Cool TV. Primary, 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 health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Back here, Grayson, in a lightning delay. As you see, both managers having a conversation here. And 16 nothing. We're stalled out here in the bottom of the seventh. And here's the other question, too, is, is that if they think that the rain's going to come, they're going to have to get the tarp out. Because, I mean, this cell that's coming at us has got some teeth. And it's, I mean, it's enough that could really put down enough to, to muddy up the field. So they're going to tarp the field. And I think we, are we done? I believe they have called this ball game and we are finished. Let's take a break and we, we are done. Okay, so this game is going to go final, so it will roll back to the final score there in the with what it was in the sixth. But that's going to take us to the conclusion of this evening's ball game as Tennessee Wesleyan will pick up the victory to open up the series here over the Knights. We'll break it down when we return after this on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup, has been family-owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top-of-the-line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring in Greenup, 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring. 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. 
There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporty Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle for Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Well, you can see on your screen there that uh, Mother Nature's decided to come in and muddy stuff up a little sooner than it should have. One little cell that is dropping in out of the northwest that is about to run right close to Grayson here on I-64 has brought this game to a halt, and they've called it a final. So based on the rules the way I've always understood them at this point, where the seventh inning did not come to a conclusion, it did not play fully out, it was at the bottom of the seventh inning in case he was getting ready to go to the plate, that will then back the inning up to the last fully played inning of the ballgame, which would be the sixth. So the final score should go down as 10 nothing. So we're going to go with that. If it's uh, changed, we'll figure it out uh, by Saturday when we get back here. But the uh, many years I've been around baseball and, and scored baseball, that's the way it's always gone down. So for the, for the uh, Bulldogs, it's going to take away some of their uh, stats that they had in that uh, seventh inning as they had pushed across six runs before the lightning delay brought us to a halt. And then both managers got together and they looked at the radar and everything and they said, yeah, we're finished. So that's going to do it for us here in this one. we got one break left. All right, let's take our final break. We'll come back. We'll take a look at our final stats and wrap it up here from Grayson. Bulldogs win this one. Back after this on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporty Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size, with a wide selection of tackle for Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Back here in Grayson, as the tarp goes on the playing surface, we're done here in game one. It's going to come to a final after six innings. Bulldogs are going to win this one 10-0. Looking at the stats in this one, Hubble goes two for three today. Martinez goes two for three with four RBIs. Webster two for four with two RBIs. McGill two for three with two RBIs. 13 total hits, 10 driven in. Martinez with a double and... Three home runs that go out with Martinez, McGill, and Ford putting those out. There was a home run in the seventh that, again, should not statistically count because of where we're not going to count the seventh inning. For the Knights, they get three hits, two of those coming from Aiden Bevan at the bottom of the order. He went two for two today, the other one coming off of the bat of Garcia. Pitching looks like this. Sargent goes three innings, two hits. Struck out Ford did not walk a batter. He'll take the win. Ricard goes three innings. One hit, one walk, he struck out three. Gowd goes three innings, nine hits, seven runs earned, struck out a batter, walked two. Hargrove an inning, 
two hits, two runs, both earned. Avila goes an inning with one hit, one run. It was earned and struck out one and walked two. And then vote one inning, one hit, did not strike out or walk a batter. Final box score looks like this for the Bulldogs. Ten runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left four runners on base. For the Knights, no runs, three hits, one error. They left two runners on base. So with the victory, the Bulldogs go to 15-9 on the season, 8-5 and five in AAC play. Let me double-check that one. I'm, I'm second-guessing. Yeah, 8-5. and five. And I just saw a giant flash of bolt of lightning. Just You probably just saw it right there on top of your screen there that went across. With the Knights, they'll even up at 11 and 11. They'll go to 1 and 9 in AAC play. And we just got an alert that says a severe thunderstorm warning. If you're outside, take cover. Lightning is on the way, and you can see it in the sky here. It is about to sit down on top of us here this evening. So back here on Saturday, 12 o'clock for the first game. We'll be on with you at 1 or 11.50. Spencer Hutchinson will be on the call. Ben James should be with him as well. And uh, they'll play the first of two games, seven inning games on Saturday here from Grayson to close, close out this AAC series with the Bulldogs. A big thanks to my crew, Jeff Irwin and Jacob Hankins, as well as all the great folks here at Kentucky Christian University Baseball. Two hours and seven minutes it took to decide this when Mother Nature brought it to a screeching halt as we were in the seventh. It'll back up to the sixth, and the Bulldogs will win it by a final score of 10 nothing. For Jeff Irwin, Jacob Hankins, and everyone at the Coit Sports Network, I'm James Collier saying thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you on Saturday here from Grayson for more Knights Baseball on Cool TV. Thank you for watching Kentucky Christian University Baseball on Cool TV. This broadcast of KCU Baseball has been an exclusive sports presentation of the Cool Hit Sports Network and Cool TV.